I'm waiting. I need an explanation because lately it seems as if you are a totally different person, Teresa. I can't tell you, Ethan, how much I want to tell you what you want to know. It's just impossible. I'm trying to give you every benefit of the doubt here. Um, when you say you can't explain your behavior, does that mean you don't know why you're acting so callously, or does it mean that there's something going on that you can't tell me about? Callously. I just need to know the truth. What's the truth? Is he all right? I, I need to speak to Mrs. Crane about little Ethan's condition, but I promised her I wouldn't in front of Mr. Winthrop. All right, all right. Um, I'll try to get her to meet you in little Ethan's room as soon as possible. Okay, the sooner the better. I'm at my wit's end here because you are not acting like the woman that I fell in love with, that I wanted to marry. You, you want to marry? Yes, that I want to marry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to go. You have to go. You have to go. No, we need to figure this out because well, we're talking about our whole lives together. What could be more important than that? I'm sorry. I mean, I, I really have to go. You listen to me. If you if you walk out that door right now and leave this conversation, I'm going to be forced to believe that you don't value our relationship as much as I do. That's not fair. I love you. God, I, I love you more than life itself. Then why are you going to walk out on one of the most important discussions of our lives?